Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, we have two champs here and of course on your right you will find the um, Samsung Galaxy Book Pro and on the left you'll find the MacBook Air M1. Of course these are two separate platforms but of course these are two contenders that you would normally go for as it relates to purchasing a new laptop. And of course we're going to compare them to see what's similar and of course how they differ. In case you're deciding or trying to decide between which one to get and of course let's begin with the um, similarities all right so of course the similarities and the differences so let's start off with the differences all right so the macbook pro over here has a display resolution of of 2560 um, by 1600 and of course that is very high and that's higher than um, 1080p well, this one over here has just a 1080p display. This is a regular type um, display. Well, this is one of Samsung's um, AMOLED displays, meaning that it produces more vibrant and, of course, feature-rich colors. And, of course, the colors tend to pop. And you'll notice this once you stare at a screen like this, especially in person. I do not know if this display is doing it justice um, right now because um, of the camera. But, of course, in terms of display, um, the MacBook here is higher resolution. This one is more vibrant. All right So that's one of the main differences that you will find between both. This one is 15.6 um, inches while this one is 13 um, inches. All right um, Of course again over here you'll have um, 16 gigabytes of RAM over here You only have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Both keys are um, backlit Meaning that depending on the situation, this one will come on depending on, um, on the ambient lighting. These will light up. So for example, I'll try to demonstrate here. If the room is dark enough, the keys will come on. Um, we're kind of in direct light. Both keys are similar. Um, the touchpads are also different. This one is very accurate. This one um, is not so accurate. Um, I've had um, problems in terms of accidental touches. Um, in terms of this key, so this one of the superior keypad and of course as I said both keys are very similar All right over here. We have Windows um, 11 over here. We have Mac um, OS You also find difference in storage capacity this both of them um, has a SSD But as you can see here guys, this SSD is 500 gigs to be exact the system shows 460 over here the R drive is basically a 250 gigabytes hard drive as you can see here the space that's been used on mine which is just um, 203 245 shown all right so both of them have um, a small hard drive with the um, samsung device as in the larger hard drive the small hard drive would be the um, mac the basic edition although you can get larger capacities depending on which one you choose to buy this is the baseline edition this of course over here is the baseline edition and as i showed you earlier guys this is the specs of this one um, 16 gigabytes of ram and of course the processor is at um, 2.8 this is a intel 11 gen which is the latest edition a core i7 processor over here with of course windows 11 home and over here guys we have a mac os um, monterey and of course you can see the this is the 2020 uh, macbook here shows you the chipset here which is the apple m1 chip with a eight gigabytes of um, memory that's stored here with the samsung having the 16 which is double the memory capacity in terms of price guys the um, samsung galaxy book has the more expensive price while the macbook here basic edition is more um, affordable however if you do get these on a deal you should be able to they should roughly come in at the same price being both one is the baseline model and of course the other being the um starter edition of the um samsung galaxy um book another thing that to note guys is that these are severely lacking on ports with the more severe being the macbook air there's only the usb type c port which is just um two Similarly over here, you only get two USB-C type ports. The only difference is that in both, well, similarly in both cases, you'll have to get dongles. I suggest 
for both you get a compatible um, Apple port that's going to give you all of the usual ports such as USB um, HDMI uh, this one is severely lacking this one is a little bit better you do get one USB port over here that I'm using for my mouse and of course the other ports um, is lacking so I suggest that you pick up a dongle that's USB type C that will convert and give you additional ports but out the box the Samsung device um, gives you more options while the Apple Apple is the Apple is very um, limited. All right. In terms of build quality, I find that the superior build quality goes to, of course, the MacBook Air. In that the MacBook Air is made out of aluminium and, of course, is very solid. While this one is built out of plastic, especially for such an expensive device. In terms of superior keys, in terms of backlit, I like the Apple uh, backlit keys. The implementation is a little bit rough over here in that it's using the ambient light sensor, but I'm, I'm sure I could turn that off and they can also be adjusted in, in, in intensity. Overall, the better display would be this one, while this one is higher resolution and very highly tweaked. Better operating system, this one based on user experience and consistency. Of course, this one has a lot of bugs since it's Windows 11. It'll take more time, so you'll have to know what you're getting into. Getting into if you're going for the Windows 11. All right, now for my um, full opinion, guys, if you are going to buy either of these, my suggestion is, guys, that you um, choose the MacBook Air if you are used to the Apple platform in that you do get better bang for your buck with the M1 MacBook Air. However, if you want a Windows laptop and you're using between both platforms, you I would say choose the Samsung Guys, if you are one, all of your softwares, especially all the ones that you use, are um, compatible with Windows 11. And of course, you have the tolerance and of course, the know it all to get around any software glitches that you might encounter. So, of course, in the category of um, familiarity, um, in terms of what you get bang for the buck wise, I would say the M1 Mac is the better all rounder. That's going to give you a superior device however if you definitely need a windows device you might find that you would have to go with the samsung samsung is not bad especially if you're in the samsung ecosystem and you already have a um, device such as your um, samsung galaxy phone you would get a lot of cool features over here but if you have um, straight apple products I would suggest that you go with the Air. Air is a very solid device, superior battery life as well. Over here, the battery life is not bad, it's okay at best. But of course, the battery life of the MacBook here blows that out of the water completely in that the battery lasts very long and you can depend on the battery over here. All in all, I would say in terms of value and money, the MacBook here gives you more bang for your buck while the um, Samsung Galaxy Pro Book. It's okay, but of course, it still needs some tweaking, starting with the um, touchpad, then of course the ports, and of course, Samsung could add in some extra features such as a more higher resolution um, display. But in terms of raw power, um, this one is very good. The ear is good as well, and they have comparable performance. Um, considering this is the i7 version. So if you have any direct questions about either guys, I've tried to cover all the major um, things that I can do to compare both as to which you should get. So in terms of um, it's mainly subjective to you and who you are, but in terms of raw, just looking on, I would say get the ear if operating system doesn't matter. But of course, in terms of um, build quality, I would say here again, but in case of um, your uh, preferred to windows definitely check it out it's still good but of course one to one the air does win all right guys so i'm going to close off the tutorial here if you have any questions please ask them below as always guys record the same bye until next time bye